See, shame always creates a screen. A screen to keep you from being who you really are, from, from seeing and being seen. And from back here behind this screen, I'm at church, but not really. I'm coming home physically, but I'm staying at work emotionally. I, I learned how to hide behind this screen because if I stay behind this screen, they can't see me. Behind this screen. Give me a phone. I need a phone. I need a phone. Behind the screen. Behind the screen. The devil's got us hiding behind screens. How creepy is it with my hand preaching to you right now? Behind that screen, behind that screen where you create digital personas to hide your dysfunction. And in an age where we have more apparatus to connect than ever before, we are impotent to be intimate because intimacy requires proximity. In other words, you gotta come out and be seen. And you can't be seen, says yours, behind a screen. The danger of isolation is much greater than the risk of intimacy. It's safer to come out from behind the screen and be seen as you really are than it is to hide behind an image of what you want people to think you are while you die inside. And secret spots, secret insecurities that cause us to stay behind performance and profession. But it's so much shame that keeps us away from the presence of the God who is already willing to take it away. So much shame. When Jesus looked at that man, the Bible says he was 41, filled with compassion. He was filled with compassion. You look confused. Are you confused? Yep. See, this one we gave you. This one is, is, is the one I wanted to show. They translated it from Greek, and sometimes the, the languages, there's, there's a distance between culturally how they saw certain concepts and how we see certain concepts. I'm going to teach you a word. Tell your neighbor, in the Greek, it's splanitsomai. And here in this translation, which they did in 2011, the NIV Translation Committee, they did it a little different. They said Jesus was indignant. And in 84, when they got together to translate it, according to the same protocol of translation, they put it as… Put the other one up there again, if you can, in the back. Compassion. And then when they translated it again, they said, no, it should be indignant, angry, furious, frustrated, annoyed, indignant. Undignified. Which one is it? Was he filled with compassion or was he indignant? Yes. Yes. He was filled with compassion and he was indignant. It came from the same place. Splagnitsamai. It means the guts, the bowels. The place where you really feel it, which becomes much more meaningful when you remember that the first sign of leprosy is that you lose feeling in your extremities. And now this man who has lost the ability to feel and who has gone numb is touched by a Savior who can feel for him. And you know what happens in life? We we go numb, especially in this age of information where we are expected to process all of the events all at once, the good ones, the bad ones. We can't feel it anymore. When you go numb, you can get hurt and not feel it, and you can die of a small cut that becomes infected because you do not feel it and you don't know it needs healing 
because you do not feel it. Has the enemy made you go numb? The religious system had gone numb. The religious system, when Jesus healed a man with a shriveled hand one chapter later in Mark, they were worried about which day he did it on. They had gone so numb that the only thing they could think about was he broke the rules. But Jesus, who is the righteousness of God, looked at this man with compassion, and he looked at the shame that the man carried with anger, splagnizomai. And Jesus, looking at the man's condition, breaks the rules, makes a move. He feels for the man. He touches the man. He touches him because he feels for him. I want to feel again, God. I want my heart to break over the state of my family. I want my heart to break over the state of race relations in my nation. I want my heart to break over what is not yet perfect in me. I want to feel again, God. I want to feel the joy of your presence. Cast me not away from your presence. Renew a right spirit in me. I want to feel again. I don't want to go through life hiding behind screens and numb on the inside. I want to feel again. I want your presence more than I want approval. I want to feel again.